Hello everybody, and welcome back to the King Fox channel. My name's Matt Conniger, and I'm building the Kit Fox Model 7 STI. It's been brought to my attention recently that some of the spouses that support the viewers of my channel don't appreciate my channel as much as the viewers do. So, fair warning to the viewers, you can cover your eyes for 30 seconds because I'm going to give you 30 seconds of entertainment for your female counterparts. So, enjoy this 30 second clip. In this episode, I'm going to be installing the return springs and the master cylinders on the back of the rotor pedals. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Install the return springs between the fuselage tabs and the hole in the clevis bolts in the horns. Rotate the bolts as required to align the holes with the ends of the springs. So earlier on, I was supposed to have the hole vertical parallel with the tube here. So I did that, one thing I did properly, and I did it on both, so you can't see it, but this one over here is also vertical right now, as the pedal is vertical, so I'm gonna put the screw, uh, springs on. I'm gonna do it on actually all four of them because it says the horns. Easy. from the front of the aircraft to the back, and now to the pedal horn. I think I'll use a plier. Very gently, very gently. I just said that. There we are. Okay, got that in there. It goes down through the vertical hole, and it hooks down here to the tab, and it's got a good pull to it. So we'll continue on with the rest of them. That was easy. This one's not vertical. Fortunately, I can turn that without breaking the, the lock stuff on there. Adjust the center to center length of the master cylinders to seven and a quarter inches by loosening the check nut, which would be up here, and turning the clevis fork in or out as required. When the adjustment is complete, tighten the check nut against the clevis. Easy. Let's see what they're at already. Center to center is about seven and a half. So we will do some adjusting. Half inch. Well, that's all the shorter I can go, so I'll see if that's seven and a quarter. Hopefully it is. Clevis won't turn anymore. Seven and a quarter. Looks like to just bottom them out. So the check nut's loose, and as I'm tightening this down or bringing it down, it stops right there. So threads start to hit inside the clevis. So that's going to be as low 
as I go. And I'm only hand tightening here because it doesn't talk about torque. Measure that one. So we got about seven and five sixteenths. I can't go any tighter with those clevises, so that's what it's gonna be. And since I'm questioning that, I will just go ahead and ask Brandon to make sure so it doesn't bite me in the future. That one's seven and a quarter. Seven and five sixteenths. So I've got two at seven and five sixteenths and two at seven and a quarter. Let's grab this tool brake kit. Let's check in here. We got some uh, 91147s. What else we got? We got some 91035s. All right, 91035, we got them. Five and we got 91147, those. What else do we have? Some 91069s. We need six, four, seven, we got four of those. We got four, 91042, two of those. They're the longer ones. And we have 91049, those are nuts. 91049, we got four of those, 049. Washers, 91148, 91148, four of those. The cutter pins, 91072, four of those. All right. We'll break kit box six. All right, swing the master cylinders into position in the mounting brackets and determine the number of washers on each side required to hold them in position. Mount the cylinders to the brackets with the hardware and required washers and install the cotter pins. You might find it useful to glue the washers in the stacks together so that they can be handled as one piece instead of individually. Let's see. Instructions show four and four on each side. So that's a lot. Those are gonna be the E or the Fs. And the E's are the four sevens and the Fs are gonna be the Limas or the L's for lean. 91148, they're the thinner ones. So we'll start with thicker ones. We'll try a stack of eight, just like it shows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight washers. Pretty sure if we're gonna have four cylinders and we need 32 washers, I do not have 32 washers here, so I'll have to dig into another package. Now the awesome thing is I put those fat ones back in with the thin ones. So there, two, four, six of the thin ones. All right, put the fatties back in with the fatties. Four, eight. Okay, so we get eight washers. The inboard times two is C, which is the AN3-13. AN3-13, otherwise known as 91042, and we got two of those. Now we're gonna, well, I have four master cylinders, so probably gonna need more of those. That is what they look like. It's going to be a bolt, a washer, which are the fatties, ease 960-10, and a castle nut and a cotter pin. So we'll need four of those, four of these, four castle nuts, four cotter pins. No one nine one zero seven two four. Okie dokie. Now, where are we using? 91035s, bolt AN37, which is letter B. So the Bs, so basically I'll be needing two more of these also. Now the longer bolt goes down through the bottom. So I need to find more of the 91035s and more of the 91042s, which are the longer bolts. Four washers, that thing. Certainly not getting four more washers on there. might get two and two. Let's try two and two.
Okay. Looks pretty good with two and two. B is 91035 is the top. They're the short ones. Top, letter E, which is a 91147, which are the fat washers and a castle nut cutter pin. Inboard to outboard bolt goes through. Washer goes on, nut goes on. Cutter pin goes in. All right, that's the right pedal for the pilot. This will be the left pedal for the pilot. So I'm going to do the same thing. Two and two down at the bottom with the long bolt. Bolts are going the same direction, unlike other times in the build. Not getting four of these in here. I'll get a lean one. I'll put a fatty in there and a lean washer. And again, it says E or F, stack as required. and snug. There we go. When these long bolts running through the bottom of the master cylinder you put the uh, fat nut, fat washer on, a castle nut, and a cotter pin. Smooth setup so far on, on this portion. Okay, cutter keys are in, brake pedals. Same thing over here. I'm trying the glue trick. I'm, well, I was trying the glue trick. Yeah, put a little accelerator on the super glue. Keep the washers there. Okay, I've super glued two washers onto the outside of this. Looks like it's holding, so I'll try to put that in here now. See if it makes it easier. They're coming off. Horse a piece. Now I have super glue all over the washers and I gotta touch them with my fingers anyway, so you decide. Although maybe if you glue them and let them sit for an hour and then come back, but I don't really wanna do that. Okay, just like the other side, I'm gonna have to go with a fat washer, a skinny washer, and then two fats. Okay, got it. So on the bottom, long ones, we do the fat washer, a castle nut, and then a cotter pin. That guy's hand is tight. Just about get it by hand, but not quite. Okay, put the shorter bolts in, the washer and the castle nuts, and then I'll be hooking up the cotter pins.
grease all over everything. Thank you. 